Azay, we are live on Instagram and Facebook. Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. I apologize for missing last week's live session and the week before that. We were traveling and we were fully booked with um, talks and business consulting sessions and a lot of things. So I'm um, sorry for missing the live sessions for the last two weeks, but we are back. Uh, we are back with a live session every every Tuesday at 3, every Tuesday at 3, uh, we are live to answer your entrepreneurial and business questions. Guys, so uh, Raving Mammoth um, and Nicole Clegg, thanks for joining in on a live session. Ask your entrepreneurial questions. Uh, what is it that you want to know? What do you want to know about entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship, that is what we are doing today. So what I want to talk about today is something that I've seen in a lot of the businesses that I've consulted recently. So I had a, I had a few business consultations with a lot of companies and one thing that I saw in all of them is uh, something they do that, that I don't think you should do as a business owner. So I'm going to talk a bit about that today. Uh, Andre, Thanks for joining in. Uh, Diavolt, thanks for joining in. Guys, uh, send me your questions. Celeste, thanks for joining in. I don't know all the answers, but we will help where we can. And I'm just going to share from my experience and what I've seen in other businesses, what I've learned through my own experience to help and answer your questions. So send me your business questions. What is your problems this week in your business? What is your problems in your entrepreneurial journey? Share it on the live session right now. Just type it in there and we will talk about it live. And through experience, through knowledge, through all of us on the live session, we'll answer that question and solve that problem. Celeste, Jason, Stian, and Mandieta. Guys, share your entrepreneurial questions right now um, on the live session so we can talk about them. So what I've seen a lot recently when I consulted businesses, and it's a big problem for me, is that business owners and entrepreneurs live from the business income. Okay, they live from the business income. Okay, let me explain this. So what happens is when their business makes profit, right, they pull the profit out of the business for their personal expenses. So when the business is making profit, they will go buy clothes and food and, you know, petrol and all of those things for their personal, you know, finance, for their personal expenses. And then when the business is not making profit, obviously they don't have any money, right? They can't buy food, they can't buy petrol and they can't, you know, buy clothes and stuff. So what they're doing by living from the business right? They're living from the profit or the income of the business. What they're doing is they're calibrating their lives to the business cycle. Because guys and girls, what you need to know is that business is up and down, okay? Business goes up. Some months you get a lot of business, you get a lot of income, you get a lot of profit. Other months you don't get a lot of profit, you don't get a lot of income, and then business is tough. And you don't want to uh, ride that roller coaster with your personal life as well, right? You don't want to live from the business on the business's income in your personal life. Because one month your kids can get clothes and toys and, you know, food and you can go out for dinner and you can buy a wife that dress or that shoes. And then the next month they can't get anything, right? So you're putting the stress on your personal life and on your family by living from your business, living from the income or the profits from your business. Because business goes up and down, guys, all the time. Business is always going up and down. It's never stable. And what you're doing now is you're disrupting your personal life, right, by trying to adapt to this business cycle. So that's the one bad thing that happens when you do this. I'll speak about the second thing right now. So on the live session, we have Raving Mammoth, Nicole Clegg, uh, Diavolt, hey Diavolt, Andre Erlang, Celeste, hey Celeste, Jason, Stian, Mandieta, Andris, Dostein, hey Do, uh, 
Uh, guys, if you're enjoying the session so far, send the shop on the live session. And guys, send me through your questions. What is, what are you struggling with in your business? What do you want to know? What, what can we help you with today? And I'll try to answer your questions from what I've learned in business and in the industry and see how we can assist you. So, uh, what we're talking about today is living from the income from your business. And I said that business goes up and down. And what a lot of entrepreneurs do that I've seen recently is they actually live from the income or the profit of the business. So which means that their personal life is also going up and down. And that's the worst thing you can do. Uh, reason one, you're disrupting your personal life. You're putting your personal life, your family and everyone through that up and down curve that business always has. The second thing that you're doing when you're doing that is, your, is, your, um, is your, you are affecting the business negatively by pulling out all of the additional capital when the business makes money, right? And then the business suffers in terms of cash flow and growth. Because when the, what, what, what do these guys do? When the business makes a lot of money, they pull the money out, right? Spend it on their food, petrol, and clothes, etc. Now when the business is not making money, the business needs that money that it made last month, right? To pull this, the business through this month. And the business needs the money that it made last month at the top to spend into marketing and growth. And now what you are doing if you're living from the business is you're pulling that surplus that profit margin, you're pulling it out of the business. So the business can never grow. So the business is never protected if the business goes through low months. So what you need to do is you need to set up a fixed salary, work out what you need and you, and you take a little bit less and you take a fixed salary from the business, right? Nothing more, nothing less, fixed salary. And you, and you adjust your personal life to that so your personal life is stable, right? Your children and your family and your friends are stable while the business goes up and down and um, you get a stable income every month from your business. So rather pay yourself a fixed salary, it makes your personal life so much better, it makes your personal life so much less stressful and more stable and also when the business has a bit extra, you still just take your salary and the business has some leverage and some space for growth increase and pushing it through the tough months. Guys, if you're enjoying this live session, if this is good advice, uh, send the shop on the live session. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Facebook, Instagram, great. We have some questions on the live session. Jason is saying, or is asking, which method would you consider is the safest to invest that income you generate from your business? Obviously, the goal is growth in both your, in both your business and your personal life. So Jason, what I would suggest is the surplus in the business, right? Keep it in the business, grow the business, right? If your business needs to expand, if it needs to hire more employees, if it needs to do some marketing, use the surplus in the business to do that, to grow your business, reinvest in your business, right? If you don't need to reinvest in your business right now, open an investment account for the business. To invest in there so you have some backup or some you know extra somewhere for if in case the business takes a rough month then with your personal finances um, get your salary every month and then from that salary invest either in some kind of investment fund in property in another business um, I don't know where you want to invest I, I made a few live sessions on that as well so on your personal income re invest a bit from that as well and remember the rule, pay yourself first. So as soon as your salary comes in, your personal income comes in, immediately have a debit order on that amount to put a certain amount away into an investment fund before you can use it when you see those nice shoes or phone or whatever in the mall. Jason, does that answer your question? Send the shop if you are happy. And cool, Celeste is asking, what can you do when you feel stuck and not sure what your next step is. Celeste, that's a very wide question because you can be stuck in multiple 
and methods? Are you stuck in terms of mindset, energy and drive? Are you stuck in terms of finances? Are you stuck in terms of growth of your business or in terms of market share or exposure? exposure? Where are you stuck? But what I would suggest if you are stuck in any part of your life is just take a step back, right? Take a step back and there's a method that Tim Ferriss is use so go look up Tim Ferriss read some of his books it's great and uh, there's a method that he used and he says look at the worst 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 case scenario right so take a step back and then analyze the worst case scenario what would happen if a hurricane comes and destroys all your properties and they, if the economy drops and your business crashes right and if there's a flood and your house goes away or whatever. What's the worst case scenario? In that scenario, would you be okay? Right? Would you be able to make do? Would you be able to get back to where you are now? Would you be able to just survive? If the answer is yes, then what are you worried about? Right? If the worst, worst case scenario in your life you would be able to kind of survive through that, then you don't have to stress about that all the time, right? That gives you a different perspective on your current situation. If you step back, analyze the worst case scenario, and that will just free your mind from that stress and that heavy feeling so that you can think clearly about solutions, options that you can use to get out of the place where you're stuck right now, right? It gives you some clear mind, Think, think creatively, think proactively. What can you do right now to change the situation? And you can list four or five items that you can do right now, right now, to change the situation and then just start executing on those. Executing, executing, executing uh, until you get out of your place where you feel stuck. Celeste, if that answers your question, send a shot on the live session. Um, Michelle, let's just check. Raving Mammoth. Uh, Nicole Clegg, Diewald, Andre, Celeste, Jason, Stian, Mandieta, Andres, Dostein, um, JC, hey JC, um, Michelle, James, James, see you tonight, uh, Andre, Peter, and John. Guys, thank you so much for joining in the live session. If you're enjoying the live session so far, uh, send a shop on the live session so that I know I'm on the right track. We talked a bit about guys and if you have any entrepreneurial questions send them through right now on the live session and we'll answer them and talk about them so firstly we talked a bit about um, business owners that lives from their business on the profits and the income of the business and I suggested that you shouldn't do that you should rather take a fixed salary from your business and use that to pay your personal expenses and leave the rest of the surplus in the business so that the business can actually grow, expand, and get through the tough times. Uh, then Jason asked, um, what should he do with the surplus in his business? And we said, maybe you should invest it in your business to grow your business. And for your personal life, uh, take a bit of your salary every month and invest that into a fund, into a property, into um, another business, into something that can take care of your future. And then Celeste asked, what if I feel stuck? How do I handle that? And we suggest to just take a step back, analyze the worst case scenario, and then take a look at all of the options. Be proactive. Write down five things that you can do right now to improve your situation and then start executing on them. Guys, I hope that was valuable for you guys. I see no more questions on the live session today. Um, thank you everyone for joining in. I hope it was a valuable session. Tune in again next Tuesday at 3 for the live sessions where we answer business questions. Get your questions ready for next week. And then at three, you can ask them live. Um, I'm available live to you guys uh, across South Africa for that 20 minutes or 30 minutes to answer any questions that you might have. So see you guys again next week, Tuesday on the live session. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, have a great and awesome entrepreneurial week. Celeste is saying shop, James is saying shop, Andre is saying shop, John is saying shop, Michelle, shop. Jason is saying yes, it answered his question. Andres, 
Shout out Baby Mammoth Doe. Hey Doe. And Diewald. Hey Diewald. <laughs> cool guys. Thank you so much for joining in. See you again next week. Have an awesome entrepreneurial journey. Awesome.